Hello everyone, my name is Eris Karpas and I'm going to tell you about a compilation-based approach to finding centroids and minimum covering states. So let's, let's assume we have a, a planning problem where we have a, a set of possible goals. And we know that one of these goals is going to arrive later, but we can act now to prepare for it. What should we do? So two solutions that make sense is to go to a state that minimizes the average distance to each possible goal, which is called the centroid state, or to a state which minimizes the maximum distance to each possible goal, which is called the minimum covering state. And this problem was first uh, presented by uh, Pozanko et al. at uh, ICAPS 90. So here's an example. Suppose we are this happy agent here, and there are two possible goals, this uh, red one here and this green one here. And at some point in the future, we know we're going to have to go to one of these goals. What should we do now? Well, we should probably go here to this state, which is actually both a centroid and a minimum covering state, because then we can either go uh, to the uh, green goal or, or to the red goal. Okay. So more formally, uh, the problem setting is strips with multiple possible goals. So we have a set of facts F, which describe the state of the world, a set of strips actions A with preconditions, add effects, delete effects, and a cost, and initial state, and a set of possible goals where each possible goal is a regular goal, a set of facts. Okay. So what's the objective? So let's denote by H star SG the cost of going from some state S to a state that satisfies the goal G. So a state S is a centroid if it's reachable from the initial state and it minimizes the sum of distances to the goals because it's the same as minimizing the average. And a state S is a minimum covering state if it's reachable from the initial state and it minimizes the maximal distance to each of the possible goal. So we, we're going to get one of these as an objective and we want to find a, a plan to reach the centroid or the minimum covering state. Okay, so when I, when I first saw this paper and especially this example, it reminded me a lot of uh, the work we did on worst case distinctiveness in goal recognition design, which was Sarah Karen's PhD thesis. So the worst case distinctiveness is the maximal number of steps that an agent can take from the initial state before its goal becomes clear. And this is very similar, right? And, and the way that we solve worst case distinctiveness is by compilation to classical planning. And as I will show you soon, uh, basically, the same compilation also works for finding centroid states. So let's look at what this compilation does. So instead of looking at one agent with two possible goals, we're going to look at two agents, each with its own goal. And these agents can walk together, right? So they can execute an action together. And they're going to do that all the way here. And then here, they're going to split and then the red agent is going to go to its goal, and the green agent is going to go to its goal. Okay? So this is the basic idea of the compilation, and again, it's the same idea here as in the worst case distinctiveness compilation. So more formally, the compilation uh, creates a classical planning task pi prime, whose facts are fi for each fact in the original setting f and each agent i, plus split and unsplit. So basically Fi is a copy of the state of the world for agent I. Now for each action, there are um, N plus one different versions, right? So there's one version which executes the action together. So all the agents execute action A together, and this affects all of the Fi uh, variables together. And then Ai is the separate version of action A, which means that only agent I executes action A. So we can go together only before splitting, and we can go separately only after splitting. And then there's another action for splitting, which is called do split. The initial state is just duplicated to all um, n copies of the, of the state. And the goal uh, G prime is that agent I has achieved goal G I. So this is the compilation. And what I haven't showed you are the action costs. So here are the action costs. So for worst case distinctiveness, we want to maximize the costs of the together actions. So for executing an action together, we give a slight discount of epsilon. So instead of costing n times the cost of a, 
executing A together costs N times the cost of A minus epsilon, and executing A separately just costs as usual. Because again, in worst case distinctness, we, we want to maximize the cost of the together actions. But when, when we're looking for a centroid state, we don't care about the cost of the together actions. We only want to optimize the cost of the separate actions. And so to find centroids, the only change we have to make is to make the cost of the together actions zero and the cost of the separate actions the same. Okay, and in all cases, splitting is, is a free action. Okay, so it's, it's fairly easy to see that an optimal solution for this compilation gives us a centroid state for the original task. And, and the proof is basically that the compilation encodes uh, paths from the initial state to all the goals. And the cost of these paths is only, is, is the sum of costs of the actions after splitting. And so the optimal solution is in a centroid. Okay, so there's a slight optimization we can make here to reduce some partial orders, which is to force the agents to act in order after splitting. So instead of after splitting, allowing each agent to act whenever it wants to, we, we allow agent one to act until it reaches its goal and then agent two and then agent three, et cetera. And this reduces a, a lot of useless symmetries. Okay. <clears throat> so this was centroids and centroids are easy in a sense. So how can we find minimum covering states? So unfortunately the, the max operator in the objective function of minimum covering states is not added. So it's not gonna be that easy to find a compilation which directly finds a minimum covering state in the general case, okay? So I'm gonna show you two compilations now. The first compilation is a compilation which given some budget B, checks whether there is some reachable state S that the maximum cost of reaching any possible goal from S is at most B. So it's checking whether B is a bound on the cost of the minimum covering state. And then we can do a binary search over B to find what is actually the minimum covering states. Okay, so we can kind of start by doubling B until, we, until the compilation is solvable and then do a binary search to find the exact value. And this compilation is very similar to the compilation for finding worst case distinctiveness when we allow agents to be non-optimal and have a deception budget. Uh, okay, so here's what the compilation looks like. And this is now gonna be a, a numeric planning task. So we're gonna add n new numerical variables, b1 to bn, where bi keeps track of the cost that agent i paid so far after splitting. Okay, so bi is initialized to zero. And then for each separate action, ai, uh, we add as a precondition that bi is less than b minus the cost of the action. So we're gonna make sure that we're not gonna exceed a budget of b. And then the um, increase, uh, the, one of the effects is gonna be increasing BI by the cost of the action. And, and that's it, that's the only change we need to make. And, and again, remind, I remind you that we don't care about the cost of reaching the goals. Uh, so we, sorry, we only care about the cost of reaching the goal after studying. And so the cost of the AT actions are still zero. And, and it's easy to see that uh, if this compilation is solvable with budget B, then there is a state uh, S in the original task, which satisfies that the maximum cost of reaching any goal uh, from that state is less than B. Okay. Now, can we do better? Well, in the general case, I don't know, but in the case that all actions are unit cost, we can actually compile finding the minimum covering state to a classical planning task without doing any binary search. Okay, so how do we do that? Basically, the agents are going to take turns acting in a round robin manner after splitting, right? So before they split, they all go together. And then after splitting, agent one is going to perform one action, then agent two, then agent three, then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, in a round robin manner, okay? And the number of steps they take is, of course, the, the minimum cover distance. So for, for uh, this compilation, we add um, uh, propositions of turn I, saying that it's the turn of agent I. And each action is predicated on uh, it being the turn of agent I, and it then passes the turn to the next agent. We also have to add no op actions to allow agents to wait after reaching their goal. And the cost of the actions are one for the actions of agent one after splitting and zero for all other actions. Okay, so this is the compilation for the, um, again, for the unit cost case. Okay. So how, how well does this compilation do? 
So we compared our compilation to the exhaustive search approach, which was presented in the previous work, uh, where basically to solve these problems optimally, they did an exhaustive search over the state space, and then they solved an optimal planning problem to get the exact distance uh, from each state to the goal, to each goal. So we used two domains from the previous work, uh, blocks, words, and ranger, which is basically the example I showed you, navigating on a grid with multiple possible goal locations. And in both of these, the underlying planner was passed downward with A star and the element characteristic. And in both cases, we used a time limit of one hour and a memory limit of 16 gigabytes. So first looking at the results for finding centroid states, our compilation-based approach is much, much better than the exhaustive search approach, almost two orders of magnitude better. Uh, so what you see here are uh, 10 different instances and their runtimes in, in both of these domains. Now, for finding minimum covering states, uh, we compare our direct compilation, which is only applicable for unit case, unit cost um, actions, uh, and, and the binary search approach, which is applicable in more general. And on blocked words, this is actually uh, better than the exhaustive search, but you know, not by that much. And for the ranger domain, we actually do uh, much, much worse. We, we don't solve any single problem. Um, so in conclusion, right, we presented a compilation-based approach to finding centroids and minimum covering states. And we see that it yields empirical performance for centroids, which is state of the art. And for minimum covering states, it's sometimes good, sometimes not so good. Thank you. And please feel free to ask any questions you might have.